Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and I want to talk to you today about this saying, I hear many people quote it, it's an old Jim Rohn quote, it's you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. It's said in many different ways, it probably was said before Jim Rohn, but this is a quote stated a lot and many times it's taken to give the impression that you need to get rid of your friends because they're not at your level or where you want to be. You need to have some friends that are better than you and a higher level financially and success-wise than you. So you need to get rid of all your old friends and get new ones because you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. But this is ridiculous. This is not a good way to go through life. One thing that is very important in life and will also lead you to success is the fact that you have some loyalty. If you can't be loyal, if you're just trading up friends and getting rid of friends because they're not supposedly of value to you anymore, you are a terrible person. And you're never going to have any real friends because you're going to constantly be seen as somebody who is not loyal, who cannot be trusted, who is only looking for somebody they can use and then when they, they don't have any more use for them, they dump them for somebody else. That's a terrible way to go through life, and that's not the meaning of that quote. That quote is just to put you in perspective, because maybe some people you're around are not good for you. They're dragging you down. They're not wanting to grow with you as a person. They're not wanting to improve themselves and build upon their own successes and grow better in whatever they're doing. Those people you might need to get rid of. But in many cases, as you build yourself up and as you get better and as you improve and as you build upon your successes, you will bring those people up with you. And instead of dropping them, why don't you help them and see if they want to grow as well? Most people do. And if they don't, then you can get rid of them. If they just want to keep stagnated and stay where they are and not improve any and not have any kind of betterment in their lives, okay but give them a chance to improve and also notice that as you improve you're bringing them up with you they start taking note they start improving they start making changes they need to better themselves don't use this concept as an excuse to drop people and to be disloyal loyalty is extremely important it's one of the few things you have in life that is very very difficult to find and to keep and if you're not loyal yourself you are not going to find loyal people to be around and you're not going to make new friends that are going to be loyal to you you're going to get what you give out of life and then when you give disloyalty and you're dropping people without even giving them a chance to improve themselves if they're your friends why wouldn't you want to help them and to better them and improve and if they're just going to drag you down then yes you need to get rid of them but tell them why you never know they might say you know what you're right I didn't even realize I was doing that. Many people don't. We assume the worst many times about other people's actions and assume the best about our own. At least give them a chance to prove themselves and to see if they want to come up with you and improve with you. If they don't, then that's fine. But at least give them that chance. Be loyal. Loyalty is hugely important in this life. As you are loyal, you will see those five people you spend the most time with, they will be improving as well. Just as you're improving, they will be increasing and improving as well. And if they're not, then you can have a talk with them about it. And if that doesn't work in the very end, then yes, maybe you need to find other friends. But loyalty is of immense importance. Don't throw away your loyalty in this misguided notion that you got to have five perfect people around you at all times to be moving in, in, towards success in this life. That's not how it works. And that's never how Jim Rohn meant that quote. Maybe some people today who are using that quote mean that, but that's not. that doesn't work in real life. It just doesn't. With all that being said, I'm not even taking into account that this quote, that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with, is not even true. Why would you be the average? Why would you be maybe the highest performing of the five people you spend the time, most time with? We know this from practical experience that, that many times there are a wide variety of people that are friends that have different levels of success. Why would you be the average of those? Why wouldn't you be the highest performing? If you're the one doing the most, the one even considering this as a thought, you're probably outperforming everyone else. 
So why would you be even the average? It doesn't even make sense. So stop just repeating things you think sound clever and sound good and dropping friends and doing all these drastic things that show you are disloyal. You're only after monetary success or finances and you don't care about anybody else. That is not a way to go through life.